birth to her baby boy. And as of right now, it's 1215. Um, I don't yet know his name, nor have I seen a picture. However, I did want to just like put it on the record that I know that he's born. Um, she wanted her immediate family, so her mom and her dad and her sister, to get to see the baby first and to get to meet him and spend some quality time with him and then she'll uh, send a picture. And I'm just so, so excited. I'm so happy for her. She said that she had a really wonderful birth and that it was just a very beautiful, precious, amazing moment. And I'm just so happy for her. I'm so happy for her husband and for her daughter, who's now a big sister. So the most exciting news that like clearly makes today the best day ever. So, so happy. Um, it's raining a bit today, which you might be able to hear. Um, but oh, I'm just so happy. I found out on my way to the studio this morning and uh, just like, just blankets the whole day in love and excitement and oh, just the most beautiful moment. So anyway, I'm on my way home now. I didn't, I didn't really have a proper breakfast this morning. Oh, I usually do. I usually always have a good breakfast, but this morning I was just kind of running a bit behind and I just grabbed a banana for the road and luckily I felt okay. Like I didn't feel too hungry, but now I'm, I'm definitely feeling definitely feeling hungry now so I'm gonna go home and eat and then I have the day before I have to go teach the kiddos so um, I'll probably do some work online as well as I need I may do some laundry as well um, but I'm listening to I love listening to podcasts in the car but I'm not car vlogging I love to listen to podcasts and one of my favorite I love the Jen and Julian show I've talked about this before I love like Shane Dawson's podcast I'm listening to Grace Helbig's pad podcast, Not Too Deep, right now, and she is talking to comedian Pete Holmes, who I've never heard of before, but he's so funny, and I just, like, you know when you listen to someone talk, and especially if it's in a podcast, you don't see their face, and you just know that you, like, like their personality, and that they're, you just connect, that's how I feel, and he has his own podcast uh, called you, you, Make it, you Made It Weird. And I'm really excited to start listening to his podcast. So apparently what he does is he'll have other comedians on his podcast. And he'll talk just about life. And about like, uh, sort of like a lot of like philosophical talk about like why we're here. What, what's the point of it all. Um, it was just sort of what he said. And so I love that type of stuff. And especially when it's with comedians. Because I think that... I don't know, I always love the way comedians, like, the outlook comedians have on life, and I find that, like, their philosophies on life and the meaning of life are always very complex, and, and yeah, I'm excited to, to check out the podcast, so, I got that, got that on my list, and I was actually looking for new podcasts this morning to add to my mix, because I, like, I love podcasts, but for the amount of time that I'm in the car during the week, I usually like run through all my podcasts by like Wednesday um, and then have no podcast for like the weekend. So I'm, I'm excited for the new Pete Holmes podcast. And then, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but one of my friends from New York, Frank, created his own podcast with two of his friends. It's called The Thursday Tea. It's about, it's like pop culture and just kind of talking about the week's events. It's super sassy, super fun. So if you're looking for a new podcast, definitely check out the Thursday tea again just like a super fun like look back at like the week's craziest events love it and yeah that's it I will update you when I find out uh, the baby's name I'm just so happy it's like the best day ever uh, so yeah I will check back in a little bit later thought I would show you guys what I just made for dinner it's a vegan madras madras uh indian curry it's so good this sauce is so good obviously i didn't make it from scratch but yeah this um the brand maya kaimel i don't know i'm butchering that but they have really good curry sauce and i just made some rice some sweet potatoes added tofu and vegetables and then stirred it all together and this is going to be my dinner for the next few nights for sure this looks so good do you guys want a little update on the white glow toothpaste? Remember I did the white glow demo for 
first impressions. Um, I really loved, I love their toothpaste and I love doing the teeth whitening. The only problem is I tend to have really sensitive teeth and so I did find that if I did it more than like once or twice a week it bothered my teeth a little bit too much. But I've been using the white glow toothpaste literally every single day and I've really noticed a difference in my teeth. I like it a lot. So dinner was so amazing. I'm so glad that I made so much of it. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have leftovers for days. And that's like my favorite. I love Indian food. I love spicy Indian food and I was just craving it. Oh, so, so good. And ah, oh, just such a brilliant day. All I've been thinking about all day has been my best friend and how she's feeling and how the baby's doing. All's doing well. She's great, baby's great. And it's just been a day filled with and blanketed in joy and happiness. Baby's name is Wild, which by far makes him the coolest kid on the block by like a landslide. He is so cool already. And yeah, it's been, it's just been an, a remarkable day. Anyone who has had a family member or friend have a baby, they, you know, you can relate. It's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling when you know that there's a little angel that's been brought into your life and they're from people that you love and it's amazing. And I am currently sitting in just a lot of traffic. There's been so much traffic. There's a lot of traffic this morning. There's been a lot of traffic this afternoon. I don't know if there's like more people in the area or what, but there's a lot, a lot of traffic. And that's it. I watched, I finished watching The Crown and I would say like two thumbs up. I really, really love it. And King Philip, Prince Philip, whatever you call him, he is sassy. I didn't realize like how much of a hard time he gave Queen Elizabeth and like how just, yeah, how, how rocky, not rocky their relationship was, but how many disputes they had. And for good reason. I mean, like she's trying to govern like the biggest empire at the time. And, and yeah, he just like wasn't quite as supportive as I thought he was at least at the beginning of her reign. So really, really interesting to watch. I would highly, highly recommend it. And again, Claire Foy is a brilliant actress. I really love her. And that's it, guys. I'm going to go teach dance, and then I'm going to go home. And that's all. So I will say goodbye now. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, as always, as always. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe share my channel with some of your friends. You could join our little family. That would be so, so, so fun. Uh, and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye, guys. <laughs>